Hello and welcome to Woodwind Ninja. My name's Jay. Today we're here to talk about something that's more important than it seems, and that is reed cases. And which one is right for you? Uh, I've run into a number of reed cases. I've been passionate about certain reed cases at certain times. What's the purpose of a reed case? The primary purpose of a reed case is to safely transport your reeds from your home to where you're going to play in public, whether that's a concert, show performance perhaps, Maybe you're soloing with the New York Philharmonic. That would be an important one. Uh, they're all important, but here's the thing. We need to have a reed that is not broken. And so we need to have a reed case that's going to get our reed from here to there, not broken. Number two, we want this to support the health of our reed. And what that primarily means is that our reed is not going to warp. We want our reed to be nice and flat when we get it out at our school concert on Broadway at our community band concert, wherever we are, whatever we're doing, we want to sound our best. And that's that's the that's another important component of a reed case. And then the third thing that a reed case can do is it can support with humidity. A certain amount of humidity to keep our reed from drying completely out. Because when our reed dries completely out, it is more likely to warp. It needs to dry flat and it needs to not be like bone dry. Those are the most important things. It kind of in that order. We're going to go over four kinds of reed cases as sort of general ideas. The first set of ideas is very easy. It is the reed cases that our reeds come in. Daddario or Rico reeds come in cases that look like this. Van Doren reeds come in cases that look like this. Neither one of these is a professional reed case, nor should you use it as such. So if you're watching this and you're in fifth grade, sixth grade, perhaps even seventh grade. You want to put your reed back in here? You know what? Go for it. Put it on flat side to flat side. But still keep in mind, this is not for storing a reed. This is for getting it from the manufacturer to you. That's really the only reason for it. This is a weird design. I don't understand it. Maybe the people in France at Van Dorn understand this. You pull this reed out. I've always felt lucky if I can get it out without breaking it. How on earth I would get it back in here with any sort of assurance it's not going to break? I don't know. Never. I rarely say never, but never put your reeds back in here. Don't do it. Okay, easy enough. Our first general set of reed storage devices are reed guards. We're looking at two different basic styles of reed guards here. The obvious difference is this one holds four reeds. This one holds two reeds. Now, but there is another difference in here I want you to check out. This one has little grooves. I'm going to call them rails for the purpose of this video. I don't know if that's official or not. This one is perfectly flat. Now, that is a difference that means something to a lot of people. It doesn't mean that much to me. Now, this is a Rico version of this, which is now called Daddario. Uh, some of them, I believe, if not all of them, are branded Daddario. They come in some whimsical colors. They're beautiful. They're fun. I highly recommend them. This is Lavaz. This is flat, only holds two reeds. These reed cases are terrific because they will fit in any clarinet case on the market. I've got a clarinet case so small, I actually slide one of these into the bell to make sure I've got reeds. Because the last thing you want is to be at a concert, at a rehearsal, anywhere, without your reeds. You should always have some reeds that live inside your clarinet case. We're going to go over some alternate strategies, in which case you can get some humidity support in these reed cases, because this will keep your reed safe. This will fit inside the case. This will keep your reed flat. But what it won't do is it won't keep your reed humidified. And that's slightly problematic depending on where you live. If you're living in Hawaii, if you're living in Florida, these are fine. Uh, if you're not, these can be a problem in the dry months. Something we need to think about. Ridges, rails, flat. That's the main difference. You can buy one that holds four reeds flat, one that holds two reeds with ridges. Those varieties are available. Everybody, young and old, beginner to professional, should have stashed in their case some potentially usable reeds in a reed case just like this. So you can never be without reeds. I can't stress that enough. Now, we're going to take a look at the glass surface cases. This reed case is beautiful. This one is branded Summer. The new version of this, which is, I believe, exactly the same product, is called the 365 Invent. And this does a good job of keeping your reeds. I mean, the thing is, there's no individual slots for them, right? So they can't move around. You know, sometimes I'll put a reed in this way because I want to make sure, hey, that one's the good one, or that one's the bad one, or that one's the hard one, or whatever it is. You can 
do some things in terms of adjusting them. Here's the thing I really like about these read cases is this, these are the only read cases that fit an entire box of reads in one case. And where that can be very helpful is that you can then track how broken in your reads are. You open a box of reads, you put them in this case, you open another box of reads, put them in another case. And then you can keep them separate and you know which reads were broken in starting on what day. That can be extraordinarily helpful. This is the only uh, scenario in which you can have an entire box of reads. How many do I have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You could fit nine, 10, 11, 12, probably 13 reads in here. That's really great if you want to have 20 reads to choose from, 30 reads to choose from at a concert. Here's what this won't do. This won't fit in a single case, not one that I know of, unless you've got a case cover. That's a problem. That can be worked out by buying a case cover or by having a double clarinet case with two clarinets and A and a B flat inside. Here's the other thing that is a drag about this is that these can pop open very, very easily. That's not good because then what can happen is they can open and your reads can all fall out. And I've been on my way to some important performances where that exact thing has happened to me and I've been disappointed. This is 30 years old. This is what it looks like 30 years old. Imagine this beautiful and new. And I'm going to show you a picture of that. Excuse me. I'm just going to spell it. It's a J I A Y O U Y, I believe. Uh, this, uh, this type of case, you know, it's beautiful. This used to be called a Harrison. So these little clasps on it, some of them are magnetic now. I'd be interested to see how that works. Uh, they've got these delicate little, almost like dollhouse hinges on them. Uh, look for the hinges because I would say that these hinges are not that durable. Uh, these read cases are expensive and beautiful. Uh, and this one has bass clarinet or tenor reeds in it, but you get the point. The clarinet version of this is exactly the same. They can be long like this one. They can be shorter like this one, all different sizes. Uh, but these don't hold up well over the course of time, even with kind of gentle use. I mean, I had these when I was in high school. This, this case is actually probably from when I was in high school. I don't even want to say when that was. And it still works, but I've had a lot of them in my life. And uh, a lot of times I've lost the screws because I wasn't that careful. And that, that can be uh, problematic. This one will also come open inside your case and it will not fit inside a single case. All kinds of problems there, but they are beautiful. And if you're carrying a double case and you want to, you know, style is a thing for you. Talk about some style, friends. Looks good. All right, now we're gonna take a look at the clamshell cases. I've got two versions of this, the Rico version and the Van Doren version. These both, believe it or not, hold eight reeds. This one, is the Rico multi-instrument storage case. So I can have bass clarinet reeds here. You can see I'm playing some Legere's. Got a clarinet reed here. Any any style of reed will fit in here. Alto, tenor, bass clarinet, E flat clarinet. I think it's one of those there. And so they'll, they'll all fit in there. And what this does is this actually has a place you can clip a little humidity pack in there. You close it up and it will keep your reeds in a particular humidity, which obviously for the Legere reeds, doesn't matter. Yeah, this works out quite well. Hold eight reeds of all sorts of different sizes and varieties. This will not fit in uh, a single case. This is problematic. It'll fit inside a double case very easily, uh, inside the outside, inside the outside pocket, inside the pocket on the outside. Uh, this is a very slick case. This is, I was very passionate about this case for a while. This is a Van Doren VRC A10. And this thing is designed incredibly well. Holds eight reads, super tiny, and this will fit inside a lot of single cases. It'll fit inside the buffet single case that I use as my test scenario. Here's the problem with this. On occasion, when you put it in, there's a little catch, and I'm, I'm not going to intentionally break this read, but sometimes it takes the corner off my reads. I'm saying like once out of every hundred times, but you know, as you would guess, that hundredth read is usually pretty good. I've stopped using these. The other downside to this particular case, uh, Protec makes a version of this case that holds 12 reeds. It's the biggest version of this I've ever seen. It looks quite a bit like this. It doesn't have the built-in humidity pack capacity. However, all of these reed cases will help control the humidity a little bit because you put a reed you've been playing in and then it closes up and then the humidity does, this isn't airtight by any stretch of the imagination, but it does help keep the humidity in there a little bit. But here's a major drawback with this particular Rico uh, case. Yeah, I don't know if you can tell. It's got, it's acquired some stuff on the outside because this gets sticky. And this might sound like a real petty complaint, but it makes my fingers sticky 
and then when I want to play, my fingers are sticky, and that bums me out, to use a technical term. So I don't use these cases anymore. For that single reason alone, this case is well designed, it's well executed, it's amazing, except for it gets sticky. And that's a big, amount of, big enough of an issue, I don't use it anymore. And finally, my very favorite reed case. I love this, this case. Looks like this. This is, I think, an HRC-10. I want to look that up. I'll put links to all of this will be in the description. Uh, so you can make sure to use those links in the description. They're affiliate links. They'll help me out. They won't cost you any more money, but they will help me out. All right. So this houses the reeds right in there. And like I was telling you, you know, like this, this has giant gaps in here, not just like rails, but huge spaces. But the thing this really does, okay, so this closes the reeds up. So even if they're coming loose on the inside, they're not getting out of this box, which is cool. But here's the other thing. It's got this little sponge here. And this little sponge, you get it wet. This one's a little bit damp. And don't, by the way, don't get them super wet because you will get some mold on your reeds. Don't do that. So just get a little bit wet. It has a little indicator here that says, add water when blue. This is not blue. I'm not going to add water. So you just add a little bit of water. Keep just a little bit of water. I'm going to say it one more time. Just a little bit of water. And, oh, <clears throat> just a little bit of water. And this will really, really keep your reeds in exactly the right sort of humidity they need to be. They're going to be completely protected. And this fits in a lot of cases because it's actually not that big because it only fits six reeds. Now, the fact that it only holds six reeds is a bit of an issue for me because I like to have 20 reeds to try. So I'm carrying around a lot of these, these cases. Uh, so anyway, there it is. Everybody, me, you, everybody you know, should have a reed guard, two reeds, four reeds, doesn't matter. These are your emergency reeds. They're in your case. If you're in fifth grade, sixth grade, seventh grade, eighth grade, you're playing the clarinet, you like it, not super serious, but you know, you can ask your mom for $5, buy a reed guard, do it. We should all have one, at least one. Here, here are the things that it comes down to. Where do you live? Do you need humidity as a part of your reed case needs? How many reeds do you want to have with you? And what kind of case do you have? Those are the questions. If you're carrying around a regular B-fly clarinet case, there are less options just based on size. My suggestion to you is work with the reed guards. Here's, here's something that you can do to help get humidity support with a reed guard. You can put it in a Ziploc bag with a, just a little bit of a sponge inside. Just that sponge a little bit wet, just like the Van Doren reed case. Just a little sponge in there. Keep it a little humid. Wrap the Ziploc bag around the reed guard, put it in your case. You got some humidity. And it works pretty well. It's kind of dependent on the climate where you are, uh, how airtight your case is. You know, all sorts of blah, 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 blah. You work it out how much the sponge needs to be wet, how much it doesn't need to be wet. You might make your reeds moldy once or twice. And you gotta throw them out. Don't play on moldy reeds. It's probably not safe. The next questions become, how many reeds do you want to have? Let's say you're carrying a double case. If you're carrying a double case, there are pockets and places to put things in all modern double cases. And if you don't have a BAM or a Marcus Mona case, which you probably do if you had a double case, and you have a regular buffet uh, attache case, you probably have a case cover. And if you got a case cover, you got room for all sorts of reads. The question then becomes, do you want to put 10 reads in a case and organize your life like that? I do. I really do. I love it. However, these read cases have come open too many times for me. If you're safer than me, or perhaps you want to put a rubber band around it, that's a good idea. You can also put these in a Ziploc bag and do the same thing I was suggesting with the reed guard. That can work. You'll be the bell of the ball. Maybe not with this particular one, but if you get a nice wooden one, you'll look great. And who doesn't want to do that? So I'm actually not really even kidding about that. Okay, so, but these are delicate. They're expensive and they're delicate, but you can put 10 reeds in there. You can organize your reed life in that way because you got to get your good reeds from here to there. All right, the last choices are something like this. Right, this Sidario case, the advantage is you can control the humidity. And actually these humidity packs, they put humidity in if you need it, or they suck humidity out if that's what's needed. They're very cool. 
So this works out pretty good. You can fit saxophone reeds, clarinet reeds, whatever kind of reeds you want to put in here, they'll fit. You got eight of them. It will not fit inside a single case. You're going to need a double case for this one. Or I got another option for you in a second. It's a terrible option, but I'm going to tell you anyway. Now this one, you might break some reeds, as I did, but it holds eight reeds. Right in these little slots, this is just clarinet reeds. You can't fit a saxophone reed in here. And or maybe you could fit an alto reed in here. Don't quote me on that. Read some stuff before you take my word on that. This will fit inside a single case, which is why I loved it so much. Uh, but I broke too many reeds, so I didn't use it anymore. And then you've got, of course, my favorite case that will fit inside a lot of cases. Not all of them, but really allows you to control that humidity. That's really great. Here's another thing you can do. It's old school. Uh, Eugene Rousseau, who was a great classical saxophone player, came to Anchorage, Alaska, where I grew up, and gave this wonderful kind of like week-long series of master classes and led some things and did some things and blah, 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 blah. It was great. He suggested, here's what you got to do to make your reeds always play. Get a Tupperware box and a nylon full of rock salt. You get that rock salt just the right amount wet. You put it inside the Tupperware container. You put your reed guards in there or whatever kind of reed cases you have, and then you close it up. And then you create an environment for your reeds. And you know what? I was pretty motivated in high school, and I did exactly that. And it worked out incredibly well. It worked out fantastically. Until you forget your box of reeds somewhere, and then you don't have your reeds. Which is the, the whole biggest point of failure in this whole thing is to not have your reads when you need them at that important performance or concert or audition or whatever it is. Yeah, this idea of a Tupperware container with rock salt, great, until you forget your reads. And then you have to carry around an extra thing. And I don't know about you, I got enough things. Uh, so that does not work for me. I've got my system where I've got my six reads, they're humidified, I'm going with it because it's good. All sorts of other systems are good. It's up to you. Do you want the rails on the bottom? Do you want it to be flat? Have a reed guard in your case. How, and how do you want to handle all this stuff? And how, like, where do you live? How are you going to do it? And if you have any ideas beyond this, or if you have a system that you use that you love, or if this has given you ideas, let me know. Like and subscribe, do the whole thing. I'll see you next time. Bye.